Mihai's second sortie was designed to calculate how his physiology changed under the stress of combat. My job was to compare his performance as a pilot now to when he was younger and understand how his skills evolved. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure I wanted to know the answers anymore. For a man his age, Mihai's body was unbelievably resilient, remarkably flexible. His reflexes were as sharp as they ever were. Still, after all those years of flying in the outer layers of the atmosphere, even someone as strong as Mihai wasn't immune to the effects of the strain. The human body is fragile. It was not meant to handle the excessive amounts of radiation that constantly bombarded the stratosphere. For Mihai's second sortie, we used a flight suit that was still untested. He seemed fine on takeoff, but by the time he landed back at the base, he was clearly a mess. He got caught in a surprise dogfight with an especially stubborn enemy. It took a while for Mihai to bring him down. The suit was ineffective. According to the data, it wouldn't let him fly to his full potential. A new flight suit was made to my exact specifications. When it finally arrived, Mihai's granddaughters glared at me with their disapproval. They blamed me for the pain their grandfather had to keep enduring. But Mihai remained stoic. He wasn't the type of man who cared about anything that happened here on the ground. I wasn't worried about it. I was confident the new suit would protect him thoroughly so that he could maneuver his plane any way he wanted. The moment he took off in his new flight suit, I realized what I had failed to before. Right after takeoff, as the wheels retracted, the plane suddenly arced up. It accelerated so quickly. I had never seen a plane move like that before. Mihai hit the high G's multiple times before disappearing into the blue. The support team couldn't even keep up. And then I knew. I understood why he never seemed to care about restoring his stolen country back to its former glory, and why he didn't seem to care about anything that happened here on the ground. Of course, Mihai's kingdom was the sky. Fravati Reconstruction Park, Silver Bridge, and the submerged area. We need you to help our boys in those three locations. This will end the war. It's done. Commence the operation. Our friends are waiting. Lately, as your company commander, I felt some of you young bucks coming after my championship belt. You're really putting the pressure on me, Federal. So I think I'm gonna go out there and put up the score. Just to show you guys how it's done. I trust I can count on all of you to keep up. Let's get out there, take care of business, come back in one piece. Strider 1, return lines to the north. Head that way if you need to refuel. Good luck, everyone. The count is back in the saddle as Cyclops 2. It's good to be flying with you again, partner. Freaking out, Shoot. No, it's real funny. Made it in my sight. My guy. Target is a range of guns. Come on. 
Missile away. Strider, 
stop Mr. X. All right, he grabbed the bait. Time to take him for a ride. Man, this is one stubborn bastard. He's on my tail, but he's on fire. Wait for the perfect shot, eh? Sorry, stranger, but my boys won't let you have it. Target is hit. Nice. Fine. Give him one more. Enough with your air show, Wiseman. You're pushing it. Damn. Oh, Cal, that's sweet. I never knew you cared. You're all grown up. I'll even let the wisecrack slide. Hey, I'm being serious here. Success. We'll guide you to the scheduled airport. All aircraft, leave this airspace immediately. Negative. They've got a debt to pay. Count, we all feel the same way. Shit! So Wiseman died for nothing. 